Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Mark and Daisy are with me today, and uh, we're hiking through the Faro Lake Wilderness area. Uh, DEC has recommended that folks stay out of the high peaks for mud season, and they put together this really cool list of um, awesome places to check out below 2,500 feet. So uh, we found this, and we're gonna do it today. I'll leave that list in the description below so you can check it out as well. Stick around, it's gonna be an awesome day. It's gorgeous outside and I yeah, got Mark with me, so life is good. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> you, know, you got a lot of energy to bring. So we've been walking through the Faro Lake Wilderness area um, from the Putnam Campground. Nice easy walk so far, some pretty scenes. Um, we're at a junction right now. And so that's the South Shore is over there. Yeah, we're gonna go, or that's the South Shore. We're not gonna go that way. But uh, we're gonna head out this way. We're gonna check out the lean-to maybe, or just try to head right out to Faro Lake and uh, turn around and come back. Well, we're making pretty good time and uh, this is my first time in the Faro Lake Wilderness. How about you? I think so. I don't remember being out here before. Yeah. It's quite nice out here. Um, Pretty highly, tranquil. Yeah. And you can hear the water running almost every step of the way, which is, uh, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, I love having the water around. It's, like I said, it's good for the brain. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep walking and having some good conversations and enjoying what the Adirondacks has to offer. Cool. We decided to uh, check out the south shore of the lake because but why not? Um, this place is awesome. Very cool spot. Unfortunately, no camping. So uh, you can't spend the night out here, but check this out. The, I think this is Putnam Pond, yeah. Um, looks like where you can put a little canoe in or whatever or take a canoe out and have some lunch. It's pretty awesome, check this out. We've made it to the junction to go to the Grizzle Ocean lean-to if we head out that way. But uh, we're going to continue to go that way and head out to Faro Lake and check out the lean-to out there. And then if there's any gas in the tank on the way back, we'll do the loop around and hit the Grizzle lean-to. So let's keep moving. It's a good day. Check out this awesome bridge.
That's freaking epic. <laughs> So the trail makes its way around um, that body of water before the last little push to Faro Lake. Um, you do get to come down a bit of elevation to get to this piece of the trail, but uh, it's not too bad. It's nice and gradual. And uh, we're about, I would say maybe a mile from the Faro Lake lean-to. I think it's lean-to number three we're gonna head to. So stick around, we still got at least half of the day left because we gotta turn around and come back. Gonna have some lunch at the lean-to, relax for a few minutes, and then uh, start the trip back. <laughs> uh, all right, that's the trail. Daisy's blazing the way. <laughs> that's gonna be good. Nice. What do you think, Mark? <laughs> I think it's a little wet. A little bit. We'll see what we can do. So we're in this really weird marshy wet area and it might be just because it's springtime um there was a marker one of the trails over that way and we need to go that way we know but we don't see any other trail markers at all through here which is kind of a bummer we're not lost but markers definitely make it easier to follow the trail right <laughs> <laughs> so well, we're just gonna take a minute check the map and make sure we're in the right place and then uh, decide whether or not we're going to carry on or just plop down on a log, eat some lunch, and head back. Either way, it's been awesome so far, so um, I, I can't complain. Found the trail again. There's a marker. We're heading across that way right there. Life's good. Time to move on. <laughs> just go through the way Daisy does. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, there we go. Safe. <laughs> Not lost. Getting ready to head up the mountain. <laughs> this is probably the biggest uh, elevation gain in a short time that we've had all trip, so this is not so bad. <laughs> so we made it to the junction. We're almost at uh, Faro Lake Lean To. I think it's number three we're gonna have some lunch at, right on the shore of Faro Lake. Uh, we've gone, according to that sign, about 5.2 miles, which is pretty accurate based off of the map. So um, that's pretty good. We're gonna head out this way just a few more tenths of a mile and grab some lunch. Stick around. There's a bunch of really huge trees that got uprooted over here on this trail. That's huge. That's bigger than everything I've seen before. Crazy. So it's a little after one. Mark and I are real hungry. And the lean-to is actually on that island right there. Peninsula. Peninsula, yeah. We're not going to it. Um, you can see Faro Lake, Faro Lake here. And we found some awesome lunch rocks. <laughs> I'm hungry, what about you? I'm good. All right, I think Daisy's probably pretty hungry too. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, eat some lunch, enjoy the views, 
and then uh, we'll get back to you before we head back out. It's gorgeous out here though. Daisy's having a moment with the geese. <laughs> That's so funny. Come on, Daisy, get out of the water. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, you just took a shower from the Faro Lake. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Daisy. Daisy, that's a bad idea. Come on. Are you, are you getting this? <laughs> you got it, Daisy. Come on. Good job. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> it's coming again. <laughs> All right, so we ate lunch, sat out here, listened to these geese taunt Daisy for the entire time we've been out here. She's gone swimming a couple times. Uh, the water looks a little too chilly for us to go swimming, I think. Um, <laughs> seeing as it's maybe 60 degrees air temperature today. Yeah, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> water might be even warmer. Yeah, maybe. So uh, we're halfway done with the day, Mark. What do you think? Oh, it's good. Got, uh, out, got some leg stretching. A little exercise. Could use a nap, but I'm doing good. Nap, nap would be awesome. We can nap on the uh, when we get home. <laughs> so um, we're gonna hang out for another couple minutes and then start the. I think it's about 5.4 mile trek back to the car. Um, I'm not sure how much we'll film because you know it's just an out and back. But uh, there are a couple things that I think we'll probably pick up. Uh, interesting point. That waterfall is one of the most gorgeous that I've seen in a long time. Uh, I'm real excited about that. We'll probably hang out there for a couple minutes on the way back through just because it's so awesome. Um, definitely worth walking out. You know, if you, could, if you have a day that's nice and you don't have anything planned, not a lot of elevation change, um, you come out and you get to see some amazing beauty like this. Check out this bridge. Bushcraft. <laughs> So we're making our way back to the car and uh, I saw this double marker here and wanted to explain that when you see this, that means the trail is gonna cut back. So you're gonna kinda come around and do, uh, do a little cut back like that. That's actually something Mark told me probably maybe four years ago at this point. And uh, I tell it to everybody that I know. So if you see a double marker like that, that means the trail is gonna go across and then turn off whichever side the markers on so stick that in your cap it's another tool for the toolbox right
All right, we made it back to the junction um, with the red loop that goes around the uh, Grizzle Ocean Pond or whatever. Uh, there's a lean-to over there, but based off the time and uh, eh, we're just ready to go home. We're just gonna beat feet the two miles back to the car and uh, call it a day. So, um, pretty awesome. We were just coming down to this junction. We heard the peepers um, going nuts. If I be quiet for a second, you might actually hear them yourself. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, we're gonna take a quick little breather and then get back to the car. Check out these mushrooms. The color of them contrasts with the moss and the tree so well. Christmassy. It's very Christmassy. If you know what those are, leave it in the comment below. Those are kind of cool. I'm not eating them though, but might die. One of my favorite sounds in the Adirondacks. All right, that's it. We made it back to the trail register. Um, it was about 11 and a half miles for the day today um, with our little extra going to the South Shore and hiking off almost to the lean-to, things like that. I had a really great day. What did you think? Oh, it was a good day. It's tiring. Yeah. Definitely not used to it. Yep. So we're gonna get Mike. Mike. We're gonna get Mark out on uh, some more hikes, and uh, hopefully Daisy will come too, because it's always fun to have her around. But uh, yep. So we did the Putnam Lake or Putnam Pond State Camp Campground all the way to Faro Lake and back. So it was a uh, out and back. Had a really good time. Um, yeah. I don't really have much more to add. I'm a little tired. But uh, the car's right up there, and then we get to go home and have some food and cold ones. So that's a win, right? Thanks for watching. Um, if you could do the YouTube thing, do the like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. That would be awesome. But uh, most importantly, get outside and try and do something awesome every single day. Till next week. One quick note. When you go out for an out and back, pay attention to all the downs because you have to go up them on the way back to the car. Totally forgot, you must have spaced out on the way out and uh, there was some, there was one really, really good up, kind of killed us, so, woo! Good day overall, <laughs> thanks for watching.